Hello everyone, welcome to Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, Gabriel's out here. I come out with him to medicate the fish. We've got some kind of little problem. Some kind of a virus or something, I'm not sure. I haven't researched it yet. And Gabriel doesn't know the name of it. Uh, but we've lost a couple of hundred of the fingerlings to it. They, they get something on their back, some kind of a white uh, uh, red outlook there, there. Look nice. Yeah. I, oh, wait, 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 wait. They've got something on their back. They they change colors. Um, some kind of a problem. Anyway, they start to swim around funny and then they go belly up and they die. But anyway, before that, I wanted to. We've had some. We've had some pretty good storms here. Uh, pretty good thunderstorms. And the waves. Gabriel says the waves uh, were as high as the bottom of this window. So probably three foot seas. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell from previous videos, the color of this bamboo flooring is a little bit different. It's a little darker now, maybe. I don't know if you can tell on the screen, but I can certainly tell by looking at it. Uh, the waves were crashing over the top of this, and uh, actually water was, I don't know, he's probably got this door locked. Yeah, he does. The waves were going over the side of this platform high enough to where water got inside the caretaker's house. and. I would have got some of the feed wet hadn't Gabriel uh, put plastic down. Now you can see this floor here got wet. The position feeds. Safe in the middle? This. <laughs> in the open. Uh, so, yeah, those of you who are wondering uh, how this platform was going to survive in monsoon season, uh, it's doing well so far. I mean, waves crashing on the deck here, uh, it's still anchored in place and there's no real damage. Gabriel did a good job on this, anchoring it down and securing it. We do need to get another barrel under this corner here though. Because this is this has gone down a bit here because of this outdoor uh, feeding thing that Gabriel or feeding the outdoor kitchen. His second dirty kitchen that he's put here. Uh, the bottom of this is just uh, sand. This is heavy. All that sand there probably weighs a hundred kilos and the little platform itself so we need to get another barrel here to offset that weight at least uh, one to offset the weight of his little dirty kitchen here so Gabriel's gonna feed and give him medicine he's also he's covering all the bases here uh, we have the medication that we bought from the feed store and they had it in stock I was uh, can't say I was surprised but I was a bit and I was glad they had it it's called it's chlorotetracycline hydrochloride vitamin A and B12 uh, it's a soluble power powder And that's basically all it is. It's a vitamin supplement with chlorotetracycline, and that's an antibiotic. And so he's going to mix this with the feed, 
and like I said he's covering all the bases he's using a traditional remedy as well he's gonna uh, mix some coconut with it also so luckily we had some still they they did the they did a coconut harvest three or four days ago but luckily we still had a few left and it has to be I guess young green coconut has to be buco so uh, Gabriel's covering all the bases we're gonna uh, come at it from the modern way uh oh Gabriel I'm gonna have to take that that uh, juice out of your salary <laughs> Uh, he's got, he's, we're using the modern medicine and the traditional. When I get up top there and I'll, I'll, uh, do a video up there so that I can see for myself what the problem is and you guys can see as well and then maybe I can research it and get a clinical name for whatever problem this is. No juice. No water. Why no water? It's broke, sir. Oh, it's broken already? Mm. You broke it? Oh, it's down. Oh, when it when it fell down? That's, I guess that's why they were roping them down when they did the harvest. Well, you're a dangerous man with that bolo, Gabriel. It's no drink. So Gabriel's mixed up the coconut, the buco, with the feed. How much medicine did you put, Gabriel? I... Or did you put medicine yet? Mm. Nah, ready put. You already put? How much? Nah, one, estimate. <laughs> one estimate, yeah. One spoon, two spoon? Maybe four, four, four spoon. Four spoons? Mm. So well, some of those, most of those pieces are too big for the fish to eat, Gabriel. There's very big pieces in there. This? Yeah. The fish can't eat that, right? Mm. So do you have to let it dry a little? Dry? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, the big waves are going to be coming here soon. <laughs> that's a yacht that's come by here before and it's a fairly good sized boat it's probably almost as big as one of the uh, ferries it's one of the ocean jet ferries and it's cruising along pretty good so I would imagine in a minute or two we're gonna have some uh, pretty good waves here from the wake we did last time when I was here I was here when that boat went by Anyway, Gabriel's still hard at mixing this up. No, no, no. No, no. Yeah, here they come. Bad this time. No big, sir. Not big this time, Gabriel. Mm, sometimes. Yeah. He must have been going slower than I thought. The last time they were about a foot high. I think he was a lot closer last time too. He was only about 100, 150 yards out. He went just to the other side of that cage right there. <laughs> 